As the year progresses, we're going to need leaders in specific situations, whether it's a high stress situation where we need a calm lead by example guy, or when the energy is low and we're going to need our talkers to talk and get us revved up so we can prepare ourselves to win because that's what we're here to do. Okay? So think about that as you go into practice. Don't step on this court and pull. This is a privilege. All right? I'm going to say that over and over and over. It's a privilege. All right? So think about that. All right? Y'all ready? Let's see. All right, come on. Let's go. That's on three. One, two, three. All right. Coach Joseph is arguably one of the most impressive people you know, uh, that I've ever been around. And, and that goes way beyond just this staff. Two most important people in your program are your head coach, who's gonna be in charge of your minutes, uh, and then the strength coach, because you're around him, you know, you're around him or her as much as anybody. He spends as much time with these guys off the floor as he does in the weight room with them. And they trust him, they go to him, he's a confident person that they can, they can go to and, and, and you know, trust that he has their best interests at all times, and, and he's phenomenal. We're, we're really, really blessed and fortunate to, to have him on our staff. All right, bend the corner more and rotate. The faster you rotate your head, the body has to follow. I originally wanted to play basketball. Growing up on the streets of Brooklyn, everybody plays basketball. As I progressed from high school to college, I really got into mentorship, how to develop the body. I always like to be the most in shape. I always like to be the, as explosive as I can, to be as cerebral as I can, studying film and, and trying to one-up my competition. And I said, you know what? How do I transition from being the person to do that to being the person to help facilitate that? He just impacts lives, man. He's a great guy. He had a bigger impact on me mentally um, because as we know, basketball is 90% mental. The whole point of everything is taking each individual ego, right, and understanding that if you make it into a collective to represent your team and represent your family, represent something bigger, that's the actual point of what you're supposed to do as a team. That's what I mean when I say collective efficacy, right? Work hard, he's going to respect you, and. It He's gonna make sure everyone gets to that point where he works hard and you have respect for each other and then your relationship just blossoms from there. My personal ideology is holistic health and performance. Strength is important, but what's just as important is the psychology of the athlete, how they respond to adversity, um, their movement strategies to help reduce the chances of injury. Um, and when you can kind of blend all of those variables together, um, you have a more well-rounded program. In order to maintain holistic health, you have to start at the rudiment aspect of any relationship. You have to care about the person and you have to be open to listening to the athlete um, as you garner a stronger partnership with this athlete and that takes time. And in the social media age, everything is about instant gratification. But if you're very present and you understand the significance of the present moment, then the, the thing that you're doing is the most important thing that you're doing at that time. It's being one pointed and it's being mindful of every single thing that you do. I take that very serious.